Hi guys. So let's look at this next question here. Again, a very good question. Uh, we are doing a lot of good questions, a lot of high quality questions in this series. Okay. So this question says that how many integers x satisfy the equation 27 raised to x plus 64 raised to x divided by 36 raised to 8 plus 48 raised to x is equal to 13 by 12. See, so I need to observe here a few things because 27 raised to x is actually how I can write this 27 raised to x. This is equal to a uh, 3 cube raised to x. And then I can write like 3x whole cube. Okay, so, I, so it's this power in multiplication, right? So I can write 3 into x or x into 3 doesn't matter. Similarly, 64 raised to x, I can write like a 4 cube x that is equal to 4 raised to x cube. Anna? And I can observe that that 36 also is a multiplication of some powers of 3 and 4 and 48 also is a multiplication multiplication of some powers of 3 and 4. So what I can do uh, to identify, identify all the uh, identities involved here. So I'll just assume that 3 raised to x, uh, I'll just assume that 3 raised to x is equal to a and 4 raised to x is equal to b. So in terms of a and b, no, so I can easily identify all the identities here. Okay. So now just let me just rewrite this equation. So this is basically a cube, no? So 3 raised to x is a. So here I can write a cube. Now 4 raised to x is b. Here I can write b cube here. a cube plus b cube. Okay. Now what is a cube plus b cube uh, divided by what? Now 36 raised to x. If you observe here, 36 raised to x. Now 36 raised to x is some 2 uh, or I can write in terms of 4, no? That is 3 is square into 4 because I need to write in terms of 3 and 4 here, okay? So 3 is square into 4 raised to x. So I can write like a 3 raised to x uh, whole is square into 4 raised to x. Now what is 3 raised to x here? 3 raised to x here is, uh, as assumed, a, no? This is a and this is b. So I can write a is square into b. So this will be written as a is square into b, okay? Plus, now what is 48 raised to x? So if you observe 48 raised to x is equal to, now this is 4 is square into 3, ah, that is raised to x, that means 4 raised to x whole is square into 3 raised to x, that is equal to uh, 4 raised to x b, no? so b square into a. So I can write here, this is b square into a, that is uh, a b square, okay. This is equal to 13 by 12, so I can use this I can use this identity here that is a cube plus b cube is equal to uh, it is a plus b into a is square minus a b plus b is square divided by you can take from here you can take a b as common it becomes a plus b now this will get cancelled uh, equal to 13 by 12 so I get, now, now let me just solve it here so I'll be getting a 12 a is square minus 12 a b plus 12b is square is equal to 13ab. Okay, now that means 12a is square minus 25ab uh, plus 12b uh, is square is equal to 0. So that's what I'm getting here, right? So mm, if there's no nothing wrong in calculations, right? So yeah, correct. So now uh, what I can do here is so just solve this now. Uh, I can just take this uh, 12 a square, no? So I think 12 into 12 is uh, 144 and that's will be 16 and 9. So I can just break like this 12 a square minus 16 a b minus 9 a b plus 12 b is square is equal to 0. Uh, 4 a you can take as common. So 3 a minus uh, 4 b plus from here I can take uh, or I can take minus, no? So I can take here minus 3b I can take as common that will be equal to uh, 3a uh, and 3b I have talked in common so 4b so 3a minus 4b right so 3a minus 4b is equal to 0 that means 3a minus 4b I can take common so 4a minus 3b is equal to 0 okay this is what I got so in the f if, if this is the product of two terms is 0 so either of them has to be zero, right? So if the first term is zero, so let's say if for in first case I write, if 3a minus 4b equal to zero, therefore 3a will be equal to 4b. 
Now let's try to replace this A and B here. Now what is see what is A and B here? So A is equal to uh, yeah. So A is equal to three raised to x. So I can write here three into three raised to x and B is equal to four raised to x. So four into four raised to x. That means three in raised to x plus one is equal to four raised to x plus one. Correct, no? Now see, the bases are different here. Okay, so the bases are different here, three and four. So these two terms will be equal only if both are equal to one. Otherwise, any power of three and four can never be same. Three ka power alag chalta hai na? Three, nine, twenty-seven, eighty-one. Four ka power alag chalta hai. Four, sixteen, sixty-four alag chalta hai, right? So kabi same hoga nahi aapka, hai na? So three and four is always three and four ke aapka completely uh, different powers hai. So ye tabhi equal hoga when both will be equal to one. So ye aapka dono one ka hoga when the power will be zero. So jab power zero hoga. तो बोथ वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू वन तो पावर जीरो मीन्स क्या है कि आपका एक्स प्लस वन विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो इन दैट केस एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन इज वन ऑफ द आंसर फॉर दिस ठीक है इट इज फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट केस नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द सेकंड केस आल्सो गाइज इन सेकेंड केस इफ आई सी सो आई टेक नाउ फोर ए माइनस मैं जीरो लूंगा सो फोर ए माइनस इज जीरो सो इन दैट केस फोर ए इक्वल टू थ्री बी नाउ आई जस्ट पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए एंड बी हियर So four into three raised to x is equal to three into what is b? B is uh, four raised to x. Okay. So four into three raised to x is equal to three into four raised to x. So how we can write here is, uh, is gonna arrange करलो three raised to x by three करलो is equal to four raised to x by four करलो. Okay. Now this will become actually three uh, raised to x minus one is equal to four raised to x minus one. Now again same thing, guys. क्योंकि अगर देखो आपको ना अगेन ये थ्री और फोर का पावर है तो अगर आपको दोनों वैल्यूज इक्वल होना है सो पावर को जीरो होना पड़ेगा सच दैट बोथ वैल्यूज बिकम वन अदरवाइज थ्री और फोर का पावर कभी इक्वल नहीं हो सकता राइट सो दैट मीन्स एक्स माइनस वन विल बी अगेन जीरो पावर इज जीरो सो एक्स माइनस वन इज जीरो देर फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन इज दी अनदर सोल्यूशन राइट सो देर आर टू सोल्यूशन टू इट एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस वन सो टू इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन Two integer solutions. Okay, so we, you can see that such a fantastic question, a great concept here. Okay, so you can just you can just uh, solve this question once more and remember this concept is that uh, when you are giving mock or in your exam like CAT and that you need to replicate this concept in the actual questions. Okay, so revising and preserving the concepts are very important. Okay, thank you guys. See you in the next video. And also, guys, so any of you are looking to join uh, any classes for the last five six months of your preparation, so we have got everything covered at An Academy. Uh, I have been working a lot on these projects of building e notes, especially that is e notes now will be available for plus and iconic people. It is going to be launched next month only, so all the modules will be launched in next one month, and it contains some good high quality questions, complete theory, lot of solved examples. So basically, it is my project only. I'm working on that, and. Uh, There's no book needed if you join uh, join classes. Apart from that, there are twenty five thousand plus questions in the app. Okay, so in the app and website, so you need it. No need to practice from anywhere else. We are now giving fifty plus full length mocks. In that around thirty, there will be thirty CAT mocks. Working on these projects, guys. Okay. Also, there will be physical notes available for the iconic people. Okay, but all the notes are available in the e new format, e view format for all the plus and iconic people. So I've been sharing a lot of these posts at uh, all the WhatsApp chats uh, or uh, the pe uh, people, uh, the students' feedback on my Facebook groups, on community post in Rodha. So around ninety uh, six ninety eight plus percentile, around sixty four people have scored ninety ninety plus percentile. Out of that, around thirty six people have got ninety nine plus percentile. So every lot of means there are some uh, in I M A there are four, four students going this year in I M B. Already five are studying, four more are sorry seven are studying, four more are going. So all these great results we are putting a lot of effort. So if you feel that your preparation is uh, not on the right track and you need a good guidance, good mentorship, you can join this. If your preparation is on the right track, then you don't need to join any coaching. You can just follow the mocks and uh, my free classes at An Academy. So I take a lot of free classes also. A lot of practice sessions I take in high, and those are high quality classes. So those that you can take, that call you can take actually uh, based on your need. Okay, 
so if you avail to this uh, if you wish to avail to the subscriptions you can use my referral code ravi roda so any any link you can uh, any link you can click and you can go for subscription uh, my 3000 quant questions are available there lot of high quality questions with all the courses from basic to advanced all the recordings are also there i take daily life classes also plus 700 lrdi sets are there till now and all these are in recording forms because all the live class which what about i have taken all the into recording forms so lot of people are con- covering these class at 1.5x and uh, they are clearing all these exams right so if you wish to avail that so you can avail otherwise just you can take mocks also mocks and then you can go for a uh, free classes that is extra practice classes i take right so based on your need you can just follow it okay thank you